Parrish, thank you for joining us today on the Echo uh, Studio. Um, I'd like to ask you a few questions um, and wondered if you could start perhaps by just introducing yourself. Sure. Well, thank you for, in, for in, inviting me here. Uh, first of all, my name is Baharash Bagirian. I'm the uh, Managing Director of Baharash Architecture. Uh, we are an innovative architecture practice based in London. We work at all different scales and sustainability is a key approach to our uh, d design projects. And um, Barish, can you explain um, how sustainability is a key driver in your approach to your work? Sure. Well, every project for us presents an opportunity to develop creative uh, design solutions that ultimately become visible design features in the projects. And a good example of this is the recent work that we did in Dubai. This is for Dubai Sustainable City and this is for the Phase 2. So the Phase 2 consists of a mixture of typologies from a, a, a resort to a spa to a, a school, a institute, a, a mixed-use zone and a, and a mosque as well as solar farms. So really we had a quite a big challenge to develop creative solutions for the client that responded to the client's uh, sustainability goals. Um, and, 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 and we really do this in a visible way and, and you will see that in the project. And um, what makes a sustainable city? What is a sustainable city? Sure. For a city to be sustainable, it needs to encompass all the three uh, main pillars of sustainability. So that's uh, economic, social and environmental. And really the key goal of any sustainable city is to ultimately uh, provide the highest quality of life for the visitors and the residents and the workers um, while also, so together by doing that, uh, while also minimizing um, the environmental fo uh, 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 footprint. And for me, a good sustainable city is one where people want to live, where people want to work and people want to visit. So I think you will see in Dubai Sustainable City that has all these qualities. Well, it will have all these qualities. So it can provide people with a variation of experiences and facilities. So everything you can expect from a city, you know, a, a project like Dubai Sustainable City has. So you don't really need to leave the city. And I think that to, to, to me is a very good example of a sustainable city. Um, but. Uh how do you start designing a, a project, a sustainable project like that? Uh, okay, uh, well, right from the early start, uh, basic design decisions like form, uh, orientation and density, uh, these are important decisions and are very basic and these provide actually the biggest environmental gains in the project. And what's interesting is that these are actually the um, the least uh, um, financial uh, investment that is required in the pro project. So right from the early start, we are able to reduce the energy demand in the project at a very little cost. And what we do also from an early stage from project, we actually work with the clients and also the consultant team to develop a set of initiatives and uh, uh, let's say targets for, for the project and these targets will help guide the, des the design um, uh, in, in, in pursuit of the uh, project's sustainability goals. So you can divide these targets into categories such as uh, water, uh, health and well-being, uh, pollution, uh, ecology, materials, energy and uh, waste. And uh, can you give us some examples uh, of the sustainability initiatives and targets for water specifically? Okay. For water, uh, on any sustainable project, you know, the, the, the first thing that you can do is obviously minimize the net use of water uh, and you maximize its efficiency and its reuse. So you can do that by uh, you know, water recycling and you know, encouraging the, uh, uh, the reuse and the collection of uh, rainwater by looking at uh, efficient irrigation systems and stormwater de de design. Uh, you can also look at efficient uh, uh, water appliances, uh, fittings and also uh, water meters. You can also look at uh, in the landscape design using uh, low water use uh, strategies uh, and also planting. You can also um, 
encourage a better quality of surface and groundwater. Uh, ultimately, I think when it comes to, 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 to water, I mean, you, you could probably, on any project, and actually in the whole world, you can reduce the water demand by 50% through environmental awareness. You know, and really this comes down to uh, uh, actually making the residents and the workers uh, aware of uh, uh, their water use and how to lower it. And actually what's interesting about Dubai Sustainable City is that they have an institute, uh, uh, and it's actually called an excellence center, that actually educates people who live and work there and people who also visit their city about green design. And they also have a, a school which actually has a green curriculum. So people from an early age are actually learning about sustainability. So that really helps to reduce the, the, the demand for energy and, and, and water. So they're designing uh, with one eye to the future in a way. And um, what does the future hold for sustainable design, do you think? Okay, uh, that's a good question. And I think, uh, well, I think uh, sustainable design is no longer a choice. It's become a necessity. In, in life and I think uh, you know good sustainable design is about um, really a, a holistic approach you know to, to to architecture and I think it happens at all different scales so so we're not talking uh, just buildings here we're talking everything from products to cities and for me a good sustainable the, the design is about doing as little as possible and achieving as much from it as possible. And again, so this is about passive design. But I think, you know, in, in my work, you know, I design everything from products to infrastructure to buildings and cities. And I think the future generation of architects, designers and master planners need to all work at all different scales if we are to provide people with a higher quality of life while also protecting the uh, the natural environment and when you talk about the future of sustainable design I think it's also good to look at the past because you know in the 1950s it was estimated that only 37 cities in the world had a population of more than 1 million people okay now by 2005 that figure went to 414 and even today that figure is rising and for the and for this century you know, that figure is going to rise at a dramatic rate. So now that, coupled with climate change, clearly is going to put a lot of pressure and demand on our city's resources. So I really do think that people need to think at all different scales to come up with uh, sustainable solutions um, that will actually raise the quality of life and reduce the, de the, the demand on our cities. That's why I see people living more in sustainable communities and sustainable cities in, in the near future and these cities will be at different scales. Excellent, thanks Barash. I've got um, one final question. Uh, what is the best method, do you feel, of promoting sustainability in the UK um, and across the globe? Uh, it comes back to education. I think we need to integrate uh, green curriculum in our schools at, uh, and also at higher le le levels at uni university. Because you know, as I said earlier, you know that you know you could reduce you know the 50% demand for all our resources through awareness. And I think it comes down to education. And I think also us as designers, architects, and masculines, I think we all have a duty you know, to raise awareness through the work that we do. This is certainly what I enjoy about the work that, that I do, you know, and I think that uh, if we make uh, sustainability a feature in our design projects, you will actually educate the people who are visiting uh, your projects and people who are living there and using these buildings. So it's really a, a cohesive approach, you know, to, to sustainability. Excellent. Maybe you could just um, tell us what sustainable projects you're working on at the moment? Sure. Uh, well, besides Dubai Sustainable City, we are also appointed right now for the first eco-villa in uh, Sadiat Island. Uh, this will be also a benchmark for future uh, sustainable projects in Abu, Abu Dhabi. Uh, we were also uh, invited as one of five consultants uh, to propose for an eco-resort in the western region of Abu Dhabi. And we are currently also shortlisted for the Royal Docks uh, design competition and we'll find out this afternoon if we win. Excellent. Barrett, thank you very much for joining us. Bye.